Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper. And in this video today, guys, I have an awesome product to show to you, sold by 3bizbros.com. Now, to begin with, most people know what hot hands are. Uh, you know, I've used them for years. Um, matter of fact, when I do a large bucket of rice, even though people uh, will argue the fact that it doesn't get enough oxygen out, I throw these in there as oxygen absorbers. So, I mean, these things work great, but they're a one-time use. Now, I have something to show you here that you can use many times over. These are click it hots, okay? And now what you can do is you can use this as a cold pack. You can put this in the refrigerator and cool it down to as far as 32 degrees, and you can use it as a cold pack on your body for cold uh, and uh, to relieve pain. But you can also click it right here. They've they got these little coins in them, and you can click it, and I'll show you right here. You can see here, you just shake it, and that does a chemical reaction and this starts getting hot and you can start getting warm now the great thing about these is they can last a lifetime okay and you can reuse these again and again I will show you here in just a moment I'm going to show you how to put this in boiling water and bring it back to a liquid state again so you have a cold pack or a hot pack and all you gotta do is click that coin but in a minute all that will go back alright now this little thing right here will last you about 30 minutes so you could keep that in your bug out bag. Uh, you know, if you're out there and say you, you know your gloves got damaged or something, you were freezing, your hands were freezing. I really need to heat that up. This right now is very warm, so I could get you know I could save my hands there, or I could put that in with my gloves. Um, just a lot of options for that. Okay, now this one here, here's here's how a large one looks after that the coin has been clicked. And so you could lay this on to your back or wrap your joints. You know, if you're an athletic person, you could wrap this uh, on you and help to relieve pain. And right there's the coin right now. But now that right there, once you've boiled that at a medium heat, it'll come back to this. So you could cool that and put that on either cold or hot. And right there, you just click the coin just like that I've done with the small one. Now... Here, th and that pack there will work for 90 minutes that I just showed you. Now, this one here will work for up to 60 minutes. And I'll click this one as well and show you just how fast this reaction takes place. You just click it and then shake it. And then look at that, how fast that it can get hot. And it, this right here will give you 60 minutes of good heat. And that is already starting to get very warm. And now, whenever you do it, don't throw it around as hard as I've done it. I'm just trying to demo right now to show you just how quick that this uh, begins the process. But you just give it a gentle shake, and that way it's even across like I've done with this little one. Now, this one here, I want to show you how this works. This will last up to 120 minutes. Now, I've got my head, uh, styrofoam head that I was doing an arrow review the other day. If you haven't seen that bow video that i just done recently. I'm going to use this head for a demonstration. What you can do right here is take this one and when you click it, this is for your shoulders and for your head and neck and it will help relieve the pain right there. You can help that, uh, put that there to soothe you or if it's very cold, uh, it can help you to keep warm. So anyway, there's some options that they have. There's quite a variety of them and I encourage you to check them out. The link's in the video description. Uh, below will help guide you to that. Now what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to the boiling water and I'm going to show you how to turn that back to liquid. So let's take a look at that now. Okay, so now that we have our water beginning to get warm and start to uh, come to a boil, here is the small click it hot pack that I used to begin with for a demo. And I'm going to go ahead and gently lay it in the water. And then also here is the larger one that I showed as a demo earlier. And now one note I did not make is that whenever I click that and shook it real quick and it become a clump, it takes a while for it to begin this crystallization process. So you can push it uh, where you want it, like Play-Doh, uh, before that it starts to harden up. Now once it sets in place, like the orange one that I was showing earlier, uh, you know, you're going to have to boil that down at that point and then be able to reuse it again and again, time and time over. But now I'm going to lay it in here as well, and that will pretty much take up all the space uh, that I have in the water for the moment. Now, I will make a few notes about this. These things get up to 130 degrees, okay? So when you're first uh, starting to use it, uh, I know one night my back was hurting me from work, and 
when I first got a hold of these, I clicked one and put it to me, and it was, I mean, it can get warm fast, so don't just slap it right on there in an instant, okay? Uh, give it a moment to start its process, and then once that the temperature gets to a point where you feel comfortable, then lay it on to you, okay? But as you can see now, it's already starting to go down and dissolve back into a liquid form. And let me slide this back over here just a little bit, and I'll pull this uh, purple one out uh, to where you can see it as well. like fishing for fish without a hook all right here we go and now you can already see it is starting to go back to a liquid state quickly and this doesn't take much effort at all and the great thing about this is okay you're you're out in the woods right and you need something uh, to uh, heat up for you like a hot pack you can reuse it again and again you're already going to have boiling water in a survival situation or if you're in the woods or whatever the case may be. So when you're done cooking, doing whatever, all you've got to do is toss that in for a moment and boil it back down. And then you've got a hot pack over and over and over again. Okay, So that's just a huge plus in my book right there. And it doesn't take long at all. I mean, this, this water isn't even uh, boiling yet. And you can already see that it's starting to uh, decrystallize and go back to its normal state. So it's not very time consuming. So I'm going to give this just a few moments, and when that goes back to liquid state, uh, or gets close to going back to a liquid state, I'll show you. But right now, we've got 337 on the stove. So whenever it gets back to liquid state here in a minute, I'll show you uh, what time it is then. So guys, it's 3.43. So it's only just been a few minutes. I think that's uh, around five, six minutes time that we've been waiting here. And... We'll take and look at the first one here, test results. And that one, I think we have become back to normal, very much so. And so the little one is definitely done. I'm going to lay it back over on the stack over here just so that it don't get damaged or anything. And now all that we've got left is the larger one. And uh, yeah, I'm making quite a mess on the stove today. <clears throat> And that one's looking very good. I think I might just give it just another moment, um, but it looks like it's back to normal as well. And so there you have it. I mean, I think when I marked that off, it was 337 and 30. I mean, we're, we're talking, yeah, less than 10 minutes. I mean, we're talking less than 10 minutes time. So when you're done, whether it's an emergency situation, normal use, whatever the case may be, you're talking 10 minutes and you've just repoed a hot pack back and so the money you would spend on hot hands and other stuff like that you could easily just buy some of these and put them back and you have an indefinite heat source uh, for many many years to come so guys make sure to check these products out at 3bizbros.com I think this is an awesome prep to have and I'm going to be using mine for many many years to come and I'm just extremely pleased. And as far as the cost comparison, you know, I always believe in it that if you're going to buy something, buy something to last, buy something that you can consistently use. Don't buy something to throw away. This is one of those items, and I encourage you to get one. So until we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.